the nigga talk now, yeah, yeah, walk it down with that fucking big boat. Hold up, one shot, two shot, three shot, four. Hey, five shots, I'll come out this bitch. I promise you're gonna leave with a couple fucking hoes. You'll probably leave hollow. Yeah, from the hollows. Yeah, you know, police trying to follow. They cannot catch us. Fuck Lowen County, bitch. Yeah, yeah, and fuck the whole system the Fuck whole the judge, fuck the court, fuck the DA Fuck, fuck the whole Mississippi, yeah What the fuck a nigga think? I ain't worried about shit, especially not the law that no officer even knew that Austin was driving the truck. When officers initially opened fire on the truck, officers assumed it was Austin was driving, but folks, let me tell you, they knew it was Austin. And I've got the proof for you and you're gonna hear it in a minute. But officers could have just as easily shot and killed one of their own based on their reckless disregard for the safety of others. Austin was fleeing when he was shot in the back of the head by defendant officers. How's that make you feel, Lowndes County? Columbus Police Department? And the rest of the boys in blue? How's that make you feel to shoot an unarmed 19-year-old boy in the back of the head? But more shots came. Austin had not threatened anyone before or during the pursuit. Upon information and belief, some of the officers involved in the incident knew Austin and had prior history with Austin, both personally and professionally. Investigation will continue. We have a petition, Justice, for Justin Hines. Let's bring national attention to this atrocity, to this 19-year-old young man that was assassinated, and there was over 100 law enforcement involved in this. When officers approached the truck, Austin was non-responsive. Despite officers discussing amongst themselves, Austin potentially having a gun, no gun was found in the truck. Upon review of body camera footage and reports obtained, Austin did not have a gun in the truck. According to the passenger from the first truck with Austin, there was no gun in Austin's possession. And you'll hear the lies on the police radio static. And you will hear the exaggeration. You will hear weak, phony, pathetic policemen saying, he tried to hit me, he almost ran over me, and so forth. After officers secured the truck, officers began to high five and fist bump each other for killing an unarmed 19 year old boy. I've tried to hold it together, folks. Let me repeat this. This is what they do, folks, nationwide. After officers secured the truck, officers began to high-five and fist bump each other for killing an unarmed 19-year-old boy. Body camera footage substantiates this. They call me a